turnover. His, his career says that he's fine in the regular season. Sean, you okay with the Chargers paying Justin Herbert $262 million? I'll say this. I want everybody to get paid. Can't get paid when every time a quarterback comes up for a renegotiation or extension, they feel like they have to get slightly more than the guy ahead of them. Look at this. I think Daniel Jones was first. He got, what, 140 guaranteed, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, but look at Hurts. Hurts got, what, 255? Then Lamar got 260. Then Herbert got 262. At the end of the day, who's a better football player, Austin Eckler or Justin Herbert? Why? Well, I would assume Herbert because he's a quarterback. Because why? Because he's talented? Like, at the end of the day, I'm, I, I believe in Justin's talent, but what has he actually done? Blow a first-half lead last time we saw him against Jacksonville, who limped into the playoffs because Tennessee Titans lost seven games straight. Like, if you take the nostalgia out of some of these play off of some of these players and just look at the facts, I think Herbert's very talented. But do I think he should be paid more than Patrick Mahomes? Absolutely not. Is he paid more than Patrick Mahomes? That's a problem. Sean, we, Perloff and I were talking about whether we think Joe Burrow is going to you know, take more than Herbert and continue with this trend of taking more, 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 or if Burrow does something like Mahomes signing the super long deal makes it a little more palatable for the team year by year to build a winner. What do you think? I, w I would presume he'll take the Brady road, the Mahomes road. You know, well, Burrow's a dog. Uh, he's a guy that's right there on the peripherals now. I mean, he's gone to Kansas City the last two years, beat Mahomes two years ago. Uh, had a chance to win a championship. They didn't get it done against the Rams. Went to Arrowhead again last year, and, you know, outside of a, a late roughing the quarterback penalty out of bounds, I mean, who knows how that game ends. So Burrow's a big dog. I would imagine him and Chase and Higgins and Tyler Boyd, they'll all find a way where they can all be rich and still be teammates, you know, which to me makes the most sense. I mean, Come on, God damn. Like, what's the difference between 250 and 265? I mean, come on. Well, not, not for yeah, us. I to... mean, do, 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 do you got an extra part of the Gucci store that, you know, that, that, well, you know people that quite aren't over 260 get to go to? Come on, man. Perloff looked up the most expensive house in Cincinnati yeah, is what? $9 million, $9 million <laughs> for Burrow. Right. And, I mean, look at, look at it right there in New York. Look what Daniel Jones got off of a 15-touchdown yep. year. Yeah, 90, 92 million guaranteed. Yeah. Yep. And you telling me you can't pay Saquon Barkley, who is light years a better and more important football player for your success than Daniel Jones? No knock on Daniel Jones. Get your money. But it's out of whack. It shouldn't be positioned as much as it should be player. Wait, just go back to the Chargers for one second. So you think the Chargers should pay Austin Eckler more, not more than Justin Herbert, but – you think that's going to be out of whack when you look at those two contracts? 100%. Austin Eckler is the best pass catcher running back in the National Football League. 